the prediction for TSM. Win, lay, win, game. And it all went wrong. The good news for you is that at least one member of your family got this prediction correct. Kubo. Yeah. We, Who are you going to pick? We tried this last night. He, he decided to go for liquid. Uh, I had already predicted TSM on this or that. Your dog knows oh, better. So are you telling me that had you uh, run the dog simulation prior, you would have got the team liquid? <laughs> Is that? Mean... Health on Haunter, but does dodge away from the first bit of damage. Blasts out of the slow beam. Here comes the E and the R. The Nether Barrel's gonna show up, and the Mouse Target making an easy combo. He's got no way out. No flying orb beams. Nothing. Fresh blood to liquid. I love. They are right now. We'll see what happens. Mike Young wants to steal the red buff, and he's gonna lock in and didn't judge the instincts quite right. Smith gets the last hit, but now lands the body slam. Lands the slam. He's in trouble. Available, and he's gonna get out before he's in range of all his ultimate. But now it's Bjergsen in melee range. Gets a shield and does not get over himself. Now here comes the dual lane. Mithy on the other side of this one. As long as he can get his teammate around, Ben can save him, but he's got to buy some time for himself. He's going to lock in range, pulls him in. He will stay alive and saves Unbreakable Will. Mithy said, no, 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 we've got enough time. Ben's going to be here. He's got my back, and he was right. Honey fruit for him to heal up a little bit as well. And remember, they do have an Ocean Drake. Uh, right now, though, it looks like there's a collapse on bottom. A lot of damage. They know no ulti for Callista. Plenty of damage here. Exhaust. Here comes Gangplank as well. The Flash Board Double also knocking back in and does so. Another pushback and double gets himself a kill. 2 0 to Liquid. As the chase continues, they're all going to turn in vulnerable thanks to Ole's ulti. The chase is on Mythia 200 HP. Maybe a little bit more. The Flash the Double Stun. Huge plays out of the bot lane. Four kills to Liquid. Ole. Great start in this one. Yeah, you can tell there's a lot of double of fans out there, and he gets a little bit of the taste of the revenge he's looking for. You can see there the Tarek stun uh, recalibrated a little bit to land that one. Good ultimate from Smithy, not yeah. Sven back there. And this was right after they had blown the Callista ultimate already uh, from the invade where Mike Young earlier on had gone for the red. Then we have some more flashes coming in uh, there with the that's to get scared. The outer turret wave will fall. As you mentioned, the second one's already gone. Here's looking for the play right now to knock down Pobel because we have the knockup, not just getting but even the nice knock back. Oh, he's coming in, but it's a whiff right there. Air balls into his name, and now out they go. Looks like it's not going to be much more of an engagement. But he pops the uh, in the mid lane, and it's like down. we do reorientate. Gets pretty low. Here comes the headbutt pull over Izonda. Two targets in the front line. No stun to be landed, but the turret's gone, which means no defense left for TSM. The flash, Olki into the back line. They're looking for that kill, and they're likely to get it. Sven, not long for the world. He's going to fall down. Double getting revenge yet again in his ex-team. As Mike Young pops the hourglass, but has not a lot of time left to go. The stopwatch Ooh. won't matter. Mike Young is down. Alistair's next up. King me, they say, looking for maybe the number five, but one of those games was Venom. If can say, hey, dude, we won the laning phase, but the tanks <laughs> come through. Unlucky 3v2 bot lane, but still, this fight, really well done by Liquid. Definitely smooth. And you can tell the team fighting here coming in huge. They combo Malzahar ultimate to hold them in place. Tarek ultimate comes down, so everybody is then invulnerable. And Mike Young is going to get picked off as well with the extra stuns. Mithy tries to get some uh, damage down there, but it doesn't matter because they were already tanked the turret. Team Liquid are just slow, so TSM are able to get Ooh. back a turret. Breaks the shield, headbutt pull up, rises in, and goodbye. Yeah, I don't think he's got a way out of that one. Pobot to drop to the ground. Bjergs gets the first kill of TSM season. Trying to get a pick here. So they can fire for themselves. But are missing one player for both to respawn to 23 seconds. Here comes the play. They're going to land a root on the Ole. Going to pop his open to buy a bit more time. And a nice knockback. Baron instead, if you look at the Drake, will do this one. They're going to pull the trigger. TP coming in, though. 4,000, 3,000. What happens is Mike Young right in the middle. He's going to get jumped on dead to Malzahar. You have to believe it. Explosive cast pushed him away. And now there's no chance to see. This will be a Baron secured note. Probably got to believe it. As soon as this fight comes in for Smithy, that should be a minor miracle to take it away, and it won't happen. Maybe just committing him for a steal attempt. At that point, though, this is all Team Liquid right up the middle. 5v4, no jungler, Baron buff on, and Hunter is gone. Double with his fourth kill of the game. Hop, but 
Team Liquid will retreat back to collect all those resources, and Inhibitor down means they can immediately return out to the map. But there's the play. It, yeah, it definitely was. Okay, so it was a steal attempt, basically. It's like it's, it's one of the suicide steal attempts. Yeah. Uh, they, they don't think that Mike is going to come back alive from that mission, but... Now staying with the Siege mid lane, start to stack up soon enough, and again, Posturing the front side gets done. Here comes the big Terracle device some more time. Mithy's not gonna have a good target to go for. Pulls back in. Ole suppression on the top side. They're gonna knock down Hanser yet again. Another death for him. And it's gonna be a kill on a Mithy as well. The flash not gonna get Sven just yet. He's cutting the back line, but still gets pulverized in the back. Gets a body slam to the face. And now he's still trying to kite away as everyone else staying alive. Bjergsen <laughs> gets across it, but doesn't really matter at this point as the team around him is dying. The turrets Woo! are falling. The structure's being destroyed. And under 30 minutes, Liquid's gonna shut down TSM in the first game of the split. And Doublelift gets revenge on his old team. Off-season money well spent by Team Liquid as they take down the defending champions. Doublelift gets a little bit of his revenge. And they've got some early season success. And $15,000 a city year, courtesy of Andy Din. Thank you very much. Mm. A bet well placed. And that's the new look of Team Liquid. One of the big super teams this year, power ranked by many, is the second, maybe third best team in North America. But right now in first place, giving maybe a single death, I think, to TSM, which is a great way to start your season. Definitely true. And look at that. They're definitely happy about the success that they had in that game and honestly it looked so smooth for them aside from you know the bottom lane composition there with the Shivana, the Kalista and Alistar kind of expect that to have control of the Drakes and TSM did a good job with those objectives but aside from that the game was pretty much all team Liquid. Totally agree and I think Liquid's gonna be a hard team to in some cases talk about after the game because every player is so damn good. I went and looked at the damage graphs and it was actually impacted by a lot in the most damage on his team. And it's a player that we almost never talk about the entire game and yet played pretty much perfectly. Let's talk about how rich he is. Yeah, I mean, he's super rich, had a lot of money.